Well, I would first of all like to thank everyone in the audience for um, showing up and doing your best to get informed. As someone who teaches middle school civics, um, I teach my students every day the importance of doing what you're doing right now. Uh, it's so important to further our civic traditions. And I thank you for that. I also would like to thank the Neighborhood Association's President's Council for bringing us together tonight. And also, I'd like to thank the Playhouse, who hosts us without really expecting anything in return. Um, I sometimes feel that we have two lake worlds. Right? We have an amazing beach, world-class beach. We've got a world-class Olympic-sized pool right on the ocean. Um, we've got historic neighborhoods, cottages that were on display uh, yesterday. We've got an eclectic artist community that deserves our support. And we've got a very diverse city. And I think that all of these things contribute to our identity as a quirky, cool place to live. And that's wonderful. Uh, at the same time, however, we have some significant challenges. And these challenges have to be met with leadership, good leadership, active, involved leadership. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who is also a teacher. And she rents in Lake Worth, and she's now in the market to buy her first home. And I asked her whether she would ever buy a home in Lake Worth. And she told me, uh, really without flinching, Omari, Lake Worth just isn't nice. And um, that was upsetting because I, I don't like to hear people bad mouth our city. At the same time, I understood what she meant without her having to spell it out. Right? You can walk out of this building right now and go on the alley behind it or go on First Avenue or go down J Street all the way to 6 and you can see that our roads are falling apart, sidewalks as well. Um, people live in pervasive and frequent violent crime is a fact of life. It's something that too many people are resigned to because they live in Lake Worth. And you know, in addition to that, sometimes I, I wonder when I'm strolling around downtown whether we leave the nation in consignment shops for square mile. Um, and so, you know, given all of this, why would she make the most important investment of her life here in Lake Worth when she could go to any other community in this county or elsewhere? and enjoy uh, well-paved roads for once, uh, the comfort of a safer community, and also a more happening and attractive and safe downtown, right? That is the question that she's asking herself. And I believe that we've made it too hard for her to resolve that question in favor of Lake Worth. And the really sad thing is that it's not just my friend Angela, right? It's, it's there, there are so many people throughout this community uh, you know, throughout Palm Beach County generally, who would probably love to make Lake Worth home, but who won't give it the time of day because we've made it too hard for them to understand what makes Lake Worth a great place to live. And that has to change. And that is why I'm running. We have to put our best foot forward as a city. We have to close the gap between where we are and where we have the potential to be. And that requires good leadership. We can do it. But in District 2, I believe that we have to take a different path because the one we've been on, the obstructionism and you know, the endless talking, it hasn't worked and it's not going to create the kind of renaissance that we would like to see here in Lake Worth. So I'm asking for your vote. On March 14th, I'm asking for your vote. I'm asking you to make those two Lake Worths one, to make Lake Worth a place that we can be proud of and celebrate without qualification. And that's very important. My name is Omari Hart and I'm running for City Commission District 2. Thank you.